Hey everybody, and let's, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. This is episode 11. I'm Xenogeno Matt. Last time we got here to this large treasure chest sign on the wall room. And we'll be exploring this room, seeing what it has to offer us. Right away, it appears we have to solve some sort of switching block puzzle. I believe that's it. We don't need to hit this again, so we can just hop up here. And fall down here. And there is indeed a large chest. You got the Super Hammer. The attack power of Mario's hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy stone blocks. That's right. All these stone blocks we've been seeing around, we can now destroy. Beetle. Too many there. I didn't feel like fighting them. Turn back, thief. Your time is running out. If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble. I do not lie, you'll regret it. Down here, we got a key up on an elevated pedestal. Now with our super hammer, we can break those stone blocks. Really nice stone staircase here. We got a tight corridor with buzzy beetles on the floor and buzzy beetles on the ceiling. Ooh. I'm getting out of here. I don't like fighting buzzy beetles when they're on the ceiling. Oh, we get another crack down here. And in this room, oh, it's like the one before. Ooh. So here's a stone chomp. These guys have really high defense. But the super hammer should be able to put the moves on him. Also, with this new power bomb we got, we could deal 5 damage to both of them, destroying them immediately. They drop a lot of coins too, which is nice. Got the diamond stone, a star-shaped stone found in dry dry ruins. Wonder what it's for. Anyway, now that we have that ruins key, we can come back through here. Open this door. And I'd be willing to bet that this switch drains the sand. And I would be correct. Now here we go, triangle, star, moon. Interesting to note. Another stone pedestal room. Got the lunar stone, a crescent shaped stone found in dry dry ruins. And down drops the, the stone chunk. I'll make this quick. And it looks like we'll be getting a level up from this battle. Excellent. And with that, I'll upgrade my FP. Lots of coins for me to drop while running away. And yeah, no, I missed that one. Alrighty, so now we have the Lunar Stone, which I'll insert there, and the Diamond Stone. And we saw that triangle stone further up. 
so let's make our way there. Another really short switching uh, block puzzle here. Or whatever you want to call this, teeter-totter. Not sure really what to call these, seesaw? I don't know. But anyway, we got an artifact. A strange artifact found in dry dry ruins. Maybe of some use later. And in here... Door seals and a stone chomp drops. We got the pyramid stone. A triangle shaped stone found in dry dry ruins. What this chomp doesn't know is that he's about to explode. Oh, we dodged it. Now what he doesn't know is he's about to explode. Now for this fight, I don't need to use Power Bomb. Power Bomb targets all ground enemies. But it's got the same strength as a regular bomb, which targets one enemy. So I've saved a bit of FP there. Pick up the Spoils of War. Continue on our way. Now we got all three stones depicted in the pedestals. Let's make our way to them to see what happens. Insert the pyramid stone. Secret staircase. This is your final warning. Enough of this foolishness. Leave at once. I probably shouldn't have saved there or whatever. Blah. <laughs> You ignored all those very scary warnings. Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Turin Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean, you shall regret this. Alrighty, starting off, we got Turin Koopa up on a pedestal. good shots on him. <laughs> come, chomp. Come, bite this intruder. He's got a real chain chomp. But I've got a real thunderbolt. And I know that chomps have 5 HP. Throw these blue shells at you to attack. Alright, we're dealing seven damage a turn to him. It's pretty good. Just kidding. Six. <laughs> I'm a magical genius. Watch and be amazed. Ah, I missed the action command. Para carries out for two turns. Yikes. He's up on that pedestal. I can't hammer him while he's up there. Come, chomp. He summoned another chain chomp. Oh, Alright, what do I got? In terms of attacking, nothing. Looks like I'm just gonna have to hammer the chomp. One damage, yikes. This chomp's got three defense and three attack. Alright, this chomp really can take a beating. Um, we'll change to bomb bet. So the chomp will take two damage from this bomb. Oh, three damage. Wait. 
Did I? Can I math? Wait. Oh! Hit himself with the magic. This does four damage, correct? Yeah. I guess Bomb does... Six damage now? I don't know. Ouch! What are you doing? That hurt. I'm king of the desert. You rude, rude man. Take this. Okie dokie. He's hurting me. Oh, uh, what do I got? I got mushrooms. Alright, he's back on his pedestal. Do I want to switch to Paracarry? Because I'll probably just send in another chomp. No. Yeah. Okay. So he predicted the chomp. Ooh, almost did nothing. Alright, three damage there. Now does Chomp have five health? I swear he had five. Oh, I guess he only has four. Okay, cool. Not complaining. Another magic attack. Okay, I blocked it with the partner. That's all that matters. Let's take this guy down. Oh, that was it. Wow. No! Oh, come here, Chompy. Wow, what are you? Ow! Help! Thus, Mario and party unearthed the legendary Dry Dry Ruins deep within Dry Dry Desert. They smashed Tutankupa the Wizard and freed Mamar, the second of the wish-granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger, and their challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will their adventure take them next? Every time, let's save and continue. Ha ha ha! Hello! How are you feeling, Princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck. I'm not in a very- I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You're imprisoned- you've imprisoned all of the guests from the castle. You're the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's rich! You know I can't do that! That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Bros and Tutu Koopa. Sure, they were complete whips, but they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm going to use Invincible Tubba Blubba on him. He's the strongest creature I know, after me. You'd best forget about Mario. Your nastiness. We have a problem. Why, Kami Goopa, what's got you so riled up? You look upset. Psst, psst, psst. What? The star spirit flew away from Tub of Lover's castle. K King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Hmm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Twink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. The Star Spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him call that in that tubba blubba thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We better try to find out about tubba blubba. If we could find something, anything, about a weak point, it might just save Mario. 
Good idea. Then, there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. Alright. Let's continue back out through the secret and exit. It's a good thing Bowser didn't notice that the big pedestal in the, uh, the room he was in had a button on it last time when he took us out of the room. All right, There are still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. Alright, we interrupt Paper Mario to bring you Metal Gear Peach. There are guards here too. Probably lots of them. We better be extra careful. That's right, we got a Koopa Troll right there. Follow this guy behind him. It's a good thing he doesn't turn around. Alright, follow quickly behind him. We got the Power Rush badge. When Mario's in danger, his attack power increases by two. That's, we gotta get that to Mario somehow. Right here. Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ugh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba. He lives deep inside of Forever Forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the Star Spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle atop, at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then, when he catches one, he gobbles it, starting with its head. Chomp. Brr. Oh man, that's so scary. Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night, and I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it. Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tubblebub is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubble Blubba has to have some weak points. He just has- it's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubble Blubba's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be all the, uh, to be strong at all. Shh. What if Tubble Blubba hears you? He might gobble us up. Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you half-wit. Twink, it sounds like Tubba Blubba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? <gasps> Do you think someone knows we're goofing off here? Oh, whoa! Princess Peach, how'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you'll have to go back to your room. Right now. Oh no! Thank you, Mario. At last I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar. So nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario's star energy goes up to two. Mario can now use Lullaby, a new star spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call, me, call on me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit, after all. <laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring without the Star Rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Alrighty. That's two Star Spirits down, five to go. I'll go back in here and save quick. Or actually, no, let's let's get out of the desert first. Heading straight down. Oh, Pokey. Oh, Pokey. Another Pokey. It's 
a pokey party. Oh, uh, oh man. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Got some blocks here. There's a block somewhere in the desert that if you hit it, it spawns a mushroom block, or a block containing a mushroom. And if you hit it nine more times, it spawns a block that contains a super mushroom. Oh, he's fast. And then if you hit it 90 more times after that, it spawns a block containing an ultra shroom. Well, what do you luck? No clues about the ruins. I'm getting so frustrated that I might have to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. I say, Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand. It looks like, it looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me or is that a clue to dry dry ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg of you. Could you possibly part with it? Cheers, Mario. Smashing, really, old boy. Soon now, the mysterious dry dry ruins will rise from the sands that conceal them. As a, bril as a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose a thank you gift is in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. You now know a bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. Whatever you say, Colorado. Whatever you say. Also, now that we're done with, uh... Pokies, I know how long I have to use the spike shield. Not that I really ever used it to begin with. Alright. So I think we'll cut things off here. Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we'll head back to Toad Town and set out to find the third star spirit. See you guys then.